Hello, I'm Cheryl from the Sewing Room Channel. I'm going to take you on a tour of my sewing room so you can see what it looks like from one end to the other. So come on in, okay? All right, as we go around to the right, we're going to go into the bathroom because I found it to be a great storage area. So in the closet there, you will see there are containers, st little plastic containers. I think they're great storage pieces. I just recently put those in there. I've just thrown stuff in. I have no idea what's in there. Now, as you turn to the right, let's go into the shower. Yes, I have stuff in the shower. Heaven forbid anybody should turn on the water. This is past, future, and present projects. On the top of this storage unit is a quilt project that I'm working on for my quilt group I belong to, the Sun City Quilters. Our leader of our group, Jan, has given us a challenge to create something out of fabric panels. So that's one of the things that I'm working on. Then as you come out here, here is a sewing table. This isn't my main table. This is a leftover table from my house. I have a sewing machine here, a serger here. Up here on the wall is where I store my fusible webbing, cardboard, templates. I have notes in there. I've got so much stuff in there, I'm not quite sure what's in there either. Over here on the wall, I just recently started organizing my thread. That looks really good, but boy, have I got a long ways to go. Down here on the floor is a tub of past projects. I'm not sure what's left over in there. Then over here, my husband left me a reminder, as you can see, that I need to make him some new oven mitts. I'll get to it one of these days, hon. Then this is my favorite spot in the whole room. I'm left-handed and I a few years ago lost the use of my right hand. So I went on a quest to look for a table that had left hand left-sided drawers and I was thrilled when I found this. So this works really well for me. Then over here I have a lot of fat quarters and lots of scraps and as you can see I need to do something with all these scraps. I've got a ton of thread in here, more scrap squares, I've got templates, patterns, trims, velcro, elastic, ribbons, in fact, I'm not sure what's in all of those little drawers. Then here, I've got, this might look familiar to you, this was in one of the videos, but I liked it so much, I'm creating a table runner for my dining room, and I really love this. One of these days I'll get it done. It's about three quarters done. Here are future projects for videos. Then I've got novelty fabrics in these tubs, okay? Lots of novelty fabrics, scraps of batting, more stuff down here. I'm not sure what it all is. This is fabric I use throughout the year. Down below this table, I've got buttons, hundreds. My, button, my husband says thousands, but it's hundreds of buttons, quilt magazines, sewing books, everything you could think of, paper. Then down on below, the last two shelves, I love to cross stitch. So I have a two shelves devoted to just cross stitch. Okay, so as you can see, many areas need, look good, but a lot of them still need some work and reorganizing. Now, as I reorganize, I will give you tips on how you can organize and set up your space, no matter how small it is. The smallest space I ever had was when I was very young, my very first apartment. It was a single room with a kitchenette off to the side, a tiny little table with my sewing machine sitting on it. And when it came time to eat, I had to take it off and set it on the floor. So I know what it's like to work in small spaces. So if you have any suggestions on setting up your space or ideas, you need help on anything, leave a comment in the comment section below, okay? Now if you wanna subscribe to the Sewing Room channel, click on my picture in the upper left-hand corner. Follow the instructions YouTube gives you. I'm Cheryl, there's so many more tips to come. See you next time and happy sewing.